Yo, what is up there, guys? Doc Feel Hot, and today is episode 8 of NHL Random Shootouts. So, today I'm playing some NHL 13 on the Detroit Red Rings, and I'm playing versus the Washington Capitals. So, good news the NHL is finally back. Hell yeah. After, I don't know how many days, it's like, I think it's like close to 120 days of the lockout since it happened, and like five months of actually no hockey. Well, September, October, November. Okay, yeah, five months of no hockey. Finally, the NHL is back. So, Sunday, uh, January 6, 2013, the NHL Association and the NHL Players Association came to an agreement that they will bring back the NHL. So, first of all, the season will start. Tuesday, January 15th, and will end Saturday, April 13th, and there will be playoffs and usually runs normally. So that means there's a total of 48 games for every NHL team. So the main deal was if there was no agreement by January 11, 2013, there would be no NHL for this season, so the 2013 season. So the main highlights for the deal, so the deal that just happened is that the CBA will run for 10 years through 2021-22 with an option to terminate the deal after eight years. So that means there'll be eight years of peace and no potential lockout for eight years, so that'd be awesome. Players receive a defined benefit pension plan. Orders and players split revenue 50-50 each, se each season with the players receiving $300 million in deferred make-whole payments to ease the transition from previous system. Uh, and a pro salary rated salary cap of $70.2 million for the shortened 2012-2013 season, which is right now, followed by a salary cap of 64.3 million in 2013-14. The salary floor will be set up at 44 million for both years. A seven-year limit on free agent contracts. Eight-year limit when a team signs its own player extension. Pretty good. The minimum salary starts at $525,000 this season and reaches $750,000 for the tenth and, and final year of the agreement. And finally, the participation of any shellers in the future Olympics has yet to be determined. The decision will be made outside of the CBA. So those are just some of the highlights of the deal that just happened. Uh, there's more highlights. I'll put the article link in the description if you guys want to check it out. And I'm excited for the NHL to be back. Uh, it's been a long time. I'm excited to watch it, see who wins the cup this year. And I still think it was a stupid idea that they made a lock on in the first place. But at the end, they realized what was the problem and they resolved almost everything but there's still some stuff they have to resolve so enjoy guys remember to subscribe and are you excited that the nhl is back and who do you think is going to win the stanley cup this year so see you next time so bye bye